hello everyone welcome back to the altrex tutorials in this video we are going to talk about very important tools that are present in the join tab of the altrex tool now these tools are the find and the replace tool as the name suggests they help you to find for the values and if you want to replace your found value with any other value so for that also this tool is used okay so here in the workflow as you can already see i have input the data that is the sample superstore data and i have applied two data cleansing operations so this i have already explained in the previous videos in case you have not seen the videos i would recommend you to go and watch them to easily understand that what's going on here now once your data is clean let us make use of the find and replace tool it is present in the join tab so here's the join tab and here is the find and replace tool let me just drag it over here now uh, let us understand this tool it is used to find a string in one column of a data set and look up and replace it with the specified value from another data set right so you can use it to append columns uh, as well uh, now if we take a look at the configuration tab we have this find section and the replace section there are two different sections right in the find section we have these three radio buttons that can be chosen as per our wish first is beginning of field that searches for the instance of the field value at the beginning of the field the entire field does not have to contain what is being searched for next we have any part of the field which means it would search for the instance of the field value in any part of the field the entire field again does not have to be uh, containing what is being searched for third is the entire field that it would search for the instance of the field value contained within the entire field the instance must be there in its entirety to be replaced with a new value then we have find within field option which is used to select the field in the table with the data to be replaced f is the input anchor by the data in the reference table and r is the input anchor uh, that is being specified by which data to be replaced okay next we have is the find value that is um, used to select the field from the reference table that is the r that contains the same values as the find within table in the original table okay next we have the case insensitive find and match the whole word only so what we will do is if we take a look at uh, this orders table this we would be connecting to the replace okay next we would be getting another in out and let me just get the input data here what i have done is let me just move it a little bit here so what i have done uh, is i have made some changes into the subcategory field and the category fields okay so what i'm going to do is just first of all get the file over here and this is the file that i want yeah so here let's just click on okay and connect it to the find values okay so it is going to find the values and replace it okay so let me just go back to this tool if i just click on the output anchor of uh, this first field what we would be getting here is 100 records actually and here you can see the uh, subcategory chairs is having a different spelling means there are some of the white spaces but in the case of uh, this the output anchor of the data cleansed field will find that in the subcategory the chairs are correct okay so we need to find the value of chairs and replace it with this that means the subcategory field would be employed so let's just click on this uh, entire field subcategory and replace it with a subcategory value okay and that's the case insensitive find or let's just keep all the settings as this only and click on run now you can see that uh, we have find in this f targets there are a number of records and in the r target that's the source there are a number of records if we click on the output anchor so the total number of records is 5191 that means the field where we have replaced the values right and the values would have been replaced over here okay so here we can just select the subcategory again and click on run So 
so this is how the find and the replace tool works it is used to replace the values right so this was all about the find section let us now focus on the replace section so we have replace found text with value that means uh, we have to choose the field from the reference table to update the original table that means the find table uh, if you want to replace multiple items then you can just check this uh, button or you can just uncheck it uh, append fields to record if you want to append a column from the find field to the replace field then uh, you can just do that as well okay so these are the options uh, that are available let me just append some records category and the product name records and click on run now if you just click on this output anchor then you can see category 2 and product name 2 are also available over here that means these have been appended in the final output so that's how the find and the replace tool works now let us talk about the other tool that is available which is known as the union tool so the union tool is a special tool which is again present in the join tab now uh, what is the function of this tool it is used to combine two or more data sets on the column names or the position so on the basis of the column names or the position it is used to combine the data sets right and in the output each column contains the row from each input we can actually perform the union operation on the basis of the number of the columns or the position uh, the name of the columns or the position of the columns right so if we take a look at this we have two uh, columns uh, we have two data sets right now that is the consumer segment data set and the corporate segment data set so if we just take a look at these data sets they all have the same uh, values that is the same columns uh, column names are same and the position is also same right so we can just perform the union on both cases that is on the basis of name and on the uh, basis of positions as well right so what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to take both of them drag this union tool over here and we are going to connect them so this is one and this is two so we can just uh, attach them both of them the one is the consumer and the second is the corporate now if we just check on this output tab what we would be getting is a combination of the rows that is 8211 records in total here you can see right uh, then we have this for cross check we have the segment column where first of all the consumer values are there and then if you just scroll down we would be having the corporate values okay so this is what we are getting over here um now if you just go to this union tool here we have three options auto config by name that means if the column names is similar then you can use this option next is auto config by position that means if the position is similar then automatic configuration would be done on the basis of position so we can do that as well because uh, in our case both of the things are same so there would be no change right but the third option that we have right now is the manual configuration by the fields so if you want to configure some fields to other values that you can do like here we have state and postal code so if you want to just change them with this interchange them like this okay and click on run so now what would happen is if you just go there in the state and the postal code these values would be interchanged with one another right so to understand it in a better way we can just use the browse tool over here so that we can get to see the individual records and run it right now if we just go to this tool here we can find the postal code right and as you can see the longest value is north carolina uh, the last alphanumeric value is wisconsin that means the values have been interchanged okay and similarly in order to check for the segment what we can do is just select the segment one segment field over here here is the segment field and there are two values the consumer segment and the corporate segment so that is how the union works for the union to work at least two the of the data sets must be available and they must have some of the common ground on the basis of which you can perform the union operation 
union operation is similar that is one table is appended over the other table no changes are made into the individual records only uh, the appending operation takes place so that's all for this union tool and that's all for this video in the next videos we would be looking at some more tools of this joint app that's all for this video thanks for watching